Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Saturday, September the 29th, and today is the feast day of St. Michael and all the angels. And we, uh, the scripture for this service, Psalm 150, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 through 14, and the Song of Simeon. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Praise God the Most High. Praise God in his sanctuary. Alleluia. Psalm 150. Praise God the Most High. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise God in the firmament of his power. Praise God for his mighty acts. Praise God according to his excellent greatness. Praise God with the sound of the trumpet. Praise God with the psaltery and the harp. Praise God with the timbrel and dance. Praise God with stringed instruments and or organs. Praise God upon the loud cymbals. Praise God upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath Praise God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise God the Most High. Praise God in the sanctuary. Alleluia. The lesson is from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. Now long ago God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days he has spoken to us by a son, who he appointed heir of all things, through whom he also created the worlds. He is the reflection of God's glory and the exact imprint of God's very beginning. And he sustains all things by his powerful word. And when he had made purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you? Or again, I will be his father, and he will be my son. And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all of God's angels worship him. Of the angels, he says, he makes his angels wind, and his servants flames of fire. But of the son, he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever, and the righteous scepter is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. And therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness beyond your companions. And in the beginning, Lord, you founded the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will remain. They will all wear out like clothing. And like a cloak, you will roll them up, and like clothing, they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will never end. But to which of the angels has he ever said, Sit at my right hand, until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet? Are not all angels spirits in the divine service sent to serve for the sake of those who are to inherit salvation? Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit. 
for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And now, O tender God, let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared before the face of the nations, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.